This morning, early voting did start in Texas. Over the weekend, former President Trump was there. He held a rally in South Texas to drum up support for GOP candidates. Stephanie Haynes is live for us in Dallas. So, Stephanie, good morning. Uh, what are you seeing in terms of the early voting and uh, what is driving people uh, to show up? Marnie, good morning. You are right. The polls are open here in Texas. Early voting has officially begun. And just two days ago, former President Donald Trump was here in the state rallying, trying to drum up that support for the GOP candidates he wants to win in this election, particularly the governor's race. Republican Governor Greg Abbott is seeking another term, and his challenger is Democrat Beto O'Rourke, who is here in North Texas today saying hello to people as they go cast their ballots early. Now, that that rally was in Robstown. That is way down uh, on the Gulf Coast, not too far from the border. That was a topic of discussion at the, at the rally as well as the economy. Recent polling showing the, the economy is that number one driver of Texas Texans to the polls right now. Governor Greg Abbott was not at that rally on Saturday because he was at a previously committed fundraising event. Beto O'Rourke hosted his own event in Austin. And a Texas pro politics project polls shows that Beto O'Rourke trails Abbott now by 11 points. We reached out to the O'Rourke campaign and have not heard back. Uh, but Trump said at the rally, quote, the MAGA movement is going to deliver a Texas-sized landslide, meaning he wants the candidates, his GOP candidates that he's supporting to win across the country. And he also announced, well, hinted, teased, that he may run for president again. I ran twice, I won twice, and did much better the second time than I did the first. And now, in order to make our country successful, safe, and glorious again, I will probably have to do it again. According to the Texas Secretary of State, more than 17.6 million people are registered to vote here in Texas. That is a 4% increase from 2020. Uh, so we'll see who sh all shows up over these next few weeks, Marty. Thank you for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find NewsNation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of NewsNation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.